let's look at writing the names of anions. Anions are the negative charge, and we're still going to stick with the monoatomic ions. That's when you have single atom forming an ion. From the element name, you take off the last few letters, usually to the first vowel. So this is the last few letters that are on the right. So this is E all the way into I, and take those off. Okay? Then you're going to replace and add that IDE ending. So this is going to become, keep the C-L-O-R, and add IDE, adding the IDE name ending. So this is the chloride ion. An ion, again, is optional, but it does indicate that it's an ion. So you have bromine, which is also in family 7A and forms a minus 1 charge. So this is the, the um, anion charge value, and this would be the anion name. You start with the name of the element, which is bromine, but you take off the last few letters to the first vowel, which is going to be the E, the N, the I, and then you replace that with the IDE name ending. You replace that with the IDE name ending. Bromide. I wrote chloride twice. So this again is the ion. Okay. Um, let's look at another example. Um, oxygen. So oxygen was a minus two or two minus ion. So you would start with the name oxygen. That's the name of the element. And you want to take off those last few letters. So this is actually more than the E. It's going into the Y. Take all those off and have ox and then add on IDE for where all it took off all those letters. So this is the oxide ion is this O2 minus ion. Okay. So for a polyatomic ion, this is when you have an atom that has more, there are a bunch of atoms bonded together, more than one atom, um, and these atoms all bonded together act as one unit and they take on a charge, either positive or negative. So you have a list of these common polyatomic ions, and this is uh, memoriz memorization. So since you guys have open books, open notes, you can just use this list, but it's good to have some of the basic ones known off the top of your head, like this is one of the most common ones, is hydroxide, is OH minus. So there's a formula and charge value, chemical formula, so the atoms and how they're bonded, and then the charge value, and then you have uh, the chemical name is what it's equal to. Okay. So what's most common for these polyatomic ions is they're usually anions. They're most commonly negative charge. The only positive one is ammonium, at least on our list, and ammonium is NH4 and plus, okay? And this is equal to NH4 with a, a one in front of it or on the other side, one plus. So the uh, parentheses are important to indicate that they are, these atoms are bonded together and they act as one unit, meaning that they don't come out of the parentheses. Okay, so they don't come out of the parentheses, uh, nothing gets to go in the parentheses, and nothing is going into or out of the parentheses most of the time. So it's useful to write those parentheses so you remember that this acts as a single unit where they're bonded together. So some quick tips about um, memorizing these, if you choose to, is that anything with the Tips about memorizing these, if you choose to, is that anything with an A-T-E or I-T-E ending, those have oxygen. They're, those have an oxygen atom in there. Okay, So nitrate and nitrite, those have A-T and I-T-E. They both have oxygen in there. Um, carbonate, this has oxygen in there. Acetate, this has oxygen in there. Okay. Uh, another thing is that ATE has one more oxygen than ITE. Or you could say this has one less oxygen than ATE. So looking at that, nitrate and nitrite. Nitrate has three oxygens compared to nitrite that has two oxygens. 
Now you can't say for certain if it's three or two because let's look at the comparison of sulfate and sulfite. Sulfate has four oxygens and sulfate, sulfite has three oxygens. So it's just one or one more or one less. Okay, so you can take a guess if I asked you what phosphite would be. We don't have phosphite on here, but if you're given phosphate, we know that phosphite would be the same exact element symbol, but would be the same exact element symbol, but so PO3 have one less oxygen with the charge. So the charges are the same, I should point out. Those are both negative one, these are both negative two, and these would both be negative three. It's the number of oxygens that change. And then one more to point out is that this has two names. HCO3- is called bicarbonate. If you've heard of sodium bicarbonate, that's the chemical name for baking soda. Um, this bi actually means hydrogen. So there's HCO3, which compares to carbonate that does not have it's just CO3 without the hydrogen. So bicarbonate is carbonate with the hydrogen. So this other name for it is called hydrogen carbonate.